Hello, folks. It's Pastor Nate with DeliveranceRevolution.org, and I want to thank you for joining us. Today, we're doing a self-deliverance prayer on evil memory recall and casting out the spirits that are responsible for giving you evil memories, okay, and recalling those bad dreams that seem to keep spirits alive in a person. So the most important thing right now is I want you to repeat after me, dear Lord Jesus, save me. I need you in my life. I need you in the center of my life. I surrender my life to you. You are my Lord and Savior. I give my life to you. I die of my own flesh and my own desires. I am born again in Jesus Christ. Thank you for forgiving me of my sins. And I forgive those who have wronged me. And be sincere, folks. I forgive those who have wronged me. And I let go of all anger and I command all spirits out in the name of Jesus that have to do with unforgiveness. And I ask forgiveness for bitterness, anger, rage against, now say the person's name. Now do that same thing with the next person. And the next person. And the next person. Ask forgiveness for your relatives. So, Lord, I ask forgiveness for generational curses against my relatives from their sin. And I ask that the blood of Jesus stand in. I come to the courts of heaven and ask that the blood of Jesus stand in. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, any sin that you need to repent of, you cannot get free and be living in sin, folks, okay? It's impossible. You cannot get free and be living in sin. So repent of that right now. Okay? Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Folks, many of you already know my prayers. Please like, subscribe. Promote this. Do something for the kingdom. Help other people. How many people you know need this? Down in the description is the PDF. So point that out to people. Say, look, here's the PDF. Here's the video. Just to explain to them. Say, use pause and play. If Pastor Nate goes too fast, hit pause. Take a day and do this prayer. I promise you some demons will come out. If you're serious about re quitting sinning and repenting, and you're serious about forgiving other people, I promise you, you will get some deliverance. All right, here we go. Today, like I said, we're praying for your deliverance against demonic spirits that try to make people live in the past or flash certain images or memories or past traumas, et cetera, across the mind. To receive deliverance, you have to have repentance and a life of self-denial along with it. Before we begin, renounce and repent of all sin, past or present, known or unknown, that you or your ancestors may have been involved in. Repent means to turn away. So truly repent and don't go back to these sins. Also consciously forgive others who have hurt you or sinned against you. Remembering to forgive yourself as well for how you've hurt others. So really forgive now. Don't just say it and not mean it, for the Lord knows our hearts. Unforgiveness is a blocker to deliverance, and it also separates us from God. Forgive as God in Christ has forgiven us, even though we've been undeserving. I want to encourage you to find a place where you're not going to be interrupted or distracted. And you can just peacefully listen to this video without having your privacy interrupted while receiving deliverance. Father, in Jesus' name, I ask for anointing on this prayer for as long as it's on the internet. If Pastor Nate's gone and it's on there for 30 more years, Lord, will you use it for anointing and saving your precious children and delivering them from demons and sickness Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for my brothers and sisters who were tuned into this video or reading this prayer. 
Lord, I pray for their deliverance right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that every demonic spirit that is coming against their life would be bound in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray, Father God, your fire from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. Father, we pray that deliverance would already begin to start to break out in the name of Jesus. Father, your word says it is the anointing which breaks the yoke, so we pray your anointing to come and break every demonic chain. Lord, your word says for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Satan, we destroy your works in their lives. They do not belong to you. They are children of the Most High God. Their bodies are temples for the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Father God, right now in Jesus' name. We come against every demonic spirit, every demon that is trespassing. You demons don't have any legal rights. Jesus Christ destroyed your legal rights on the cross 2,000 years ago. The Word of God says that Jesus Christ triumphed over principalities and powers, making an open show of them, disarming them. So we disarm you spirits right now by the authority of Jesus Christ. The Word of God says that Jesus Christ has been given all authority under heaven and earth. So Satan, we disarm you. The Lord rebukes you. We disarm you right now. My God has given me authority. Jesus has given me authority to cancel your mission. Satan and his demons. So you devils, you demons, you evil spirits have to come up and out today of every precious soul in the name of Jesus who's hearing this. The word of God says, all who call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. So Father, on their behalf, I renounce all evil memory recall. I renounce all mind-binding spirits. I renounce all demons of mental affliction, demons that afflict the mind. We command them to come out. All demons that bring repetitive, intrusive thoughts, I command you demonic spirits to come out in the name of Jesus. Every demonic spirit that gives intrusive, murderous, blasphemous, adulterous thoughts. We command you wicked spirits to come out now in Jesus' name. We expose you in Jesus' name. Father, I pray that these demons would already begin to expel out of the body gates. Father, we pray fire in the gates in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, wherever these demons would try to hide or hold on, may they be uprooted in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray, Holy Ghost, fire against you spirits. We command you to come up and out right now. Father, we pray a fiery furnace of judgment against these devils in Jesus' name. Father, I pray by faith that they would be completely set free in Jesus' name. Father, your word says that Jesus Christ came to set the captives free. Father God, your word says that you came to set at liberty those who were bound. So we thank you, Father God, for that liberty, for that freedom right now. Father, may they have the mind of Christ. May they have peace in their mind. Father, I pray that they would be able to forget the things which are behind and press onward to the high calling in Christ Jesus. All failed expectation spirits, we command them to come out now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any demonic spirits that have come in as a result of a negative response to failed expectation, every demon that makes people assume negativity because of their past experiences, every demonic spirit of negativity that comes to steal away from faith, we command it out right now in Jesus' name. Release your grip from their minds. All lines of negative thinking, self-destructive thinking, we command it out in the name of Jesus Christ. Release your hold right now. Spirits, release your hold from the head. Every hook, every dagger, every fang, every fetter, every chain wrapped around the mind, we pull it loose in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that all mind bondage would be broken in Jesus' name. We bind every demon that is binding their mind. Father God, your word says that the same mind that was in Christ Jesus be in us. So I pray that they would have the mind of Christ, Father, and they would have peace in their minds. Father, your word says to be anxious for nothing, <clears throat> but in prayer and supplication, let a request be known to God with thanksgiving. 
and the peace of God shall guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, I pray that they would allow your peace to be a guard over their mind. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every demonic spirit that's manifesting, come out of them now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out every demon that hears the sound of my voice. Go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, every memory recall demon, you are not allowed there. You are trespassing. It's time to come out. Come out of their brain. Come out of their mind. It belongs to Jesus Christ. So we thank you, Father God. I pray that we would be able to forget those things which are behind. Father, any demons that bring up traumatic memories in the mind, any demons that rise bitterness in the mind, memories of people betraying you, memories of rejection, memories of negative things happening to you that block you from operating in faith. I command those demons to come out now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every demon that reminds people of their past sins that have already been forgiven, we command it to go. The word of God teaches that God throws our sins into the sea of forgetfulness. Father, your word says that you sent your word and you healed your people and delivered them from their distresses. So we thank you, Father God. Right now, by faith, that these devils are leaving, whether it's subtle manifestation, no manifestation, or very intense manifestation. Father, I'm believing for the listener of this video that they are being set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we pray fire against every fiery dart that has been shot in the mind. Father, may every fiery dart be quenched. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, right now, we command all demons that come to bring mental exhaustion, spiritual, physical exhaustion. Every demon that has come to wear out the saints of God, we command it now in Jesus' name. Every demon that's on a mission to wear them out through repetitive, intrusive thoughts, repetitive mental attacks, we command you demons to go. Father, your word says, come to me all you who are laden with heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. So every heavy burden placed on them by the enemy, lift off in Jesus' name. We lift every heavy burden of stress. We lift every heavy burden of anxiety. We lift every heavy burden of exhaustion. Right now, I command the spirit of exhaustion to go to the abyss in the name of Jesus Christ. Come up and out of the mouth, the eyes, the nose, the ears. Come out, spirits. We command you to flee right now in Jesus' name. All the way up and out of their body, out of the chest, out of the diaphragm, the throat, the stomach. Release, come out of the mouth in Jesus' name. Right now, spirits, we command you to go all the way out in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out, spirits. We command you to flee every evil memory recall, your past favorite sins evil memory recall over doing drugs, evil memory recall over being afraid, evil memory recall over sexual sin, past partners, past relationships, past marriages. We command it to go. Any demons that make people look back to the old days as though they were better than when you were born again, I command every demon that makes people look back to go. Father, your word says to remember Lot's wife and don't look back. So, Lord, any demons that try to make them look back to Sodom and Gomorrah, we break that deception. We cast out any demons that try to make them curious about what other people from their past lives are doing in an ungodly fashion, in a deceitful fashion, to drive them to sin. I break it off now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All false demonic curiosity come out in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Every spirit that drives in them a demonic curiosity that exploits your curiosity, I command it out right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Bitterness, envy, hatred towards those who you knew before Christ, we command it to come out now in the name of Jesus. Come out, spirits, all the way out in the name of the Lord Jesus.
memories of past friends. We command it out now in the name of Jesus Christ, every demonic spirit of past friends, constantly being reminded of what your friends are doing. I command it to go now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out, spirits. Go, go, go. Fantasies, idolization of your teenage years, back when you were having fun, back when you were doing drugs, back when you were living a lawless life. Any demon that tries to make those memories look appetizing, I break it off in the mind right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out, spirits. We command you to flee every root of bitterness that tries to spring up in the heart and the mind and the soul. We uproot those roots of bitterness right now. Come out, spirits, all the way out in the name of Jesus Christ, all the way up. Any subconscious demonic spirits that were embedded in the mind through trauma that cause PTSD, that cause nervous breakdowns, that cause panic, I command you, spirits, to come out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Memories of past failure, demons of shame that bring up memories of past failure when you're trying to do something new afraid to try something new, afraid to try something again. All demonic spirits of fear come out in the name of Jesus Christ right now. <clears throat> I command every spirit of fear to go in the name of Jesus. Fear, you have to go. Evil memory recall, you have to go. Octopus spirit, you have to go right now. Squid, octopus, release the mind. All marine spirits of evil memory recall, Come out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the way out, spirits. Go, go, go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, your word says he who believes in Jesus will never be put to shame. So, Father, I pray that all shame over past failures and mistakes would be broken off their life in the name of Jesus. I come against demons that make people afraid to try to go to a new church, that make people afraid to try to go to a new congregation expecting that things won't work out, expecting that everybody's going to be lukewarm, expecting that no one's going to like them. Evil memory recall, we cast you out, expecting that everybody's going to reject you. Evil expectation, evil assumption, evil surmise. <coughs> Up in the name of Jesus, we command it to come out in the name of Jesus. Every demonic spirit that makes people assume evil, assume ruin, assume destruction and negativity, we command it to grow now. Spirits of depression, heaviness, come out in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lack of faith in believing that God will do something new. We command it to be broken in Jesus' name. Feeling like you've messed up too many times feeling like you've been messed up too many times. We break it off in the name of Jesus. Come out, spirits, right now. Go, go, go in Jesus' name. Go out of them and go to the abyss right now, demons. We're not asking you. We're commanding you in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of their bodies right now. We wage war against your kingdom, Satan. We loose the wrath and judgment of God against every demonic spirit. Father, I pray that these devils would drink a bowl of your judgment. I pray that they would drink a bowl of your wrath, Father God. I thank you that as they're being delivered, Father, that you are filling them with your Holy Spirit. I pray that their cup would be overflowing, Father God, that they would not be just surviving, but they would thrive. Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, any demonic spirits that give people fear, that they won't be delivered. We command it to go now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out all spirits of fear, all roots of fear, roots of fear that result in evil memory recall, evil every demonic spirit that makes it hard to take vain imaginations captive. We command it to go. Demons that steal strength out of the mind and the brain, we command it to go. All spiritual leeches attached to the brain, attached to the body, all spiritual leeches come out now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray fire against you devils, all the way up and out in Jesus' name, all the way up and out in Jesus' name. Right now, come out spirits, all the way out of them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you have to flee. The word of God says, submit yourselves to God. 
Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Do it now, demons, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you right now. Father, your word says for us to pray. Do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. I thank you, Father God, for deliverance that's taking place, for a breaking out, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that you just enter them into a season where they'd be able to step out in faith in areas where they were formerly afraid, areas where they were formerly ashamed, areas where they were formerly assumed negativity. Father, I pray that all demonic ne ne negativity, always assuming the worst of people, never giving people the benefit of the doubt, be broken off right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out, spirits, right now. Go, go, go in the name of Jesus. All evil memory recall, we renounce it. We command it out in the name of the Lord Jesus right now. Evil memory recall cast out. Father God, we thank you in Jesus' name. May they be able to overcome those vain imaginations. Father, may they be able to overcome evil memory recall in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Any evil memory recall over trauma, sexual abuse, physical or emotional abuse, divorce, adultery, committed against you. Father, I pray that all those evil memory recalls would be broken. Evil memory recall of fighting with your spouse. I command it to go in the name of Jesus. Memory recall, memory recall of fighting with your parents. I command it to go. Evil memory recall of building, being publicly embarrassed, publicly ashamed. Get out, shame. I command it to go now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father God. We renounce the evil memory call of public embarrassment. I command the spirit of embarrassment to come out now in the name of Jesus. Spirits of embarrassment that came in through childhood bullying. Spirits of embarrassment that came in through bullying at the workplace. We command it to go now. Being worn out through embarrassment, being worn out through shame. Easily sensitive demons that block people. Every spirit of fear that blocks people from operating in wisdom with their words in the midst of public encounters in the midst of confrontational situations. Father, I pray that all of that fear would be removed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whew. Father God, we thank you and we give you praise. In the name of Jesus. Father, please fill them with the Holy Spirit. Father God, I pray that every empty void would be completely filled with your Holy Spirit and Lord, that they would be able to make great progress and sanctification in the areas that we prayed about today. Father God, I believe it in the name of Jesus that many are being set free today. Father, in Jesus' name, please fill their mind with the spirit of truth that they would be able to walk in liberty, that they would be able to walk in self-control in their mind, that they wouldn't be a victim to the thoughts of their mind, that they would be a victor in Christ. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. We pray these things. Amen, amen. Folks, if you made it this far, I want to encourage you to go to deliverancerevolution.org, contact us, and you want to be a part of getting discipled and getting free and staying free and really becoming an on-fire man or woman of God. Fill out the contact us form. It takes two seconds. Every day at 11 a.m., but Sunday. 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but Sunday. Join us in the Zoom room. It's fellowship, deliverance, healing, impartations. People come from all over the world. We're like an online church where every day, you don't have to stay the whole time. There's no set hours. We just go to the Holy Spirit says go. Every night, but Sunday, 7 p.m., 7 p.m., 12 meetings a week. Also, folks, please like and subscribe. Please make a positive comment. Please share. Do something good for somebody. Put it on your Facebook. Put it on your TikTok. Put it on your Instagram. Put it on your YouTube. Do something. Last but not least, we're crowdfunded. I do this full time. There's no other way to pay the office light bill and the rent except when people give. So if you want solid ground, because what's solid ground? It, 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 it's soil where the, the, the kingdom sets down roots. People get saved. People get delivered. Okay, we're doing kingdom work. We're not selling snake oil and, my goodness, life insurance policies and protein powders and cryptocurrency courses and all of this. We're real men and women of God. 
So sow in, put your tithe here. Go to the front page at deliverancerevolution.org and you'll see the PayPal on the right-hand column. Nothing else, just send a hundred bucks. Send 200 bucks. I'll send you a few deliverance manuals. Okay, we love you guys. We thank you very much for joining us. We look forward to having you on the next video. I'm Pastor Nate with deliverancerevolution.org. Bye-bye.